Welcome to the Apt Aptitude series. This series is going to help you crack all the aptitude that's available in the face of the earth. So let's get started. So this video contains a problem on factorial and division, an explanation of the factorial concept and the division algorithm, an application of these two concepts to solve the given problem. Let's look at the problem. The problem is what will be the remainder if the following summation is divided by 7? That is 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial plus 6 factorial up to 99 factorial plus 100 factorial. And sum all these numbers and you get a big number. And if that number is divided by 7, what will be the remainder? Any ideas? So a factorial is defined like this. For any non-negative integer n, if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1, n factorial is 1. Otherwise, n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial. For example, if n is equal to 5, 5 factorial is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 and is equal to 120. And some of the examples here, one, one factorial is equal to 1, 2 factorial is equal to 2, and similarly 4 factorial is equal to 24. Now, if 100 factorial has to be calculated, then we need to score, we need to calculate 100 into 99 into 98 into 97 into up to 3 into 2 into 1, which is computationally large. Then how can a person calculate this huge summation? So how are you going to solve the problem? Well, let's look at the division algorithm. For any integer m, there is a positive integer n, there, and there are unique integers q and r such that m is equal to n into q plus r. That is, if m is divided by n, then we get a quotient q and r as the reminder. So let's see some of the examples here. So, say for example, the number 32. So it can be expressed as 5 into 6 plus 2. And 167, it's 13 into 12 plus 11. And 278 is 16 into 17 plus 6. So if you divide 32 by 5, you get a reminder of 2. 167 by 12, you get a reminder of 11. 278 by 17, you get a reminder of 6. So for example here, if 42 is divided by 8, what will be the reminder? That is, so 42 can be expressed as 8 into 5 plus 2. Thus, the reminder is 2. And typically, you can see another example where 287 being divided by 22. Now, listen to this carefully. 282, 287 can be expressed as 220 plus 66 plus 1. So, 220 is nothing but 22 plus into 10 and 66 is 22 into 3 plus 1. So it's nothing but 22 into 13 plus 1. Thus the reminder is 1. So are you getting closer to the clue? Let's see a bigger number here. Now if take for example 71,567 is being divided by 7. So this 71,567 can be divided as 70,000 plus 1,400 plus 140 plus 21 plus 6 so which is nothing but 10,000 plus 200 plus 20 plus 3 into 7 plus 6 so which is 10,223 into 7 plus 6 thus the division algorithm using the division algorithm we say the reminder is 6 now you have got any clue yes we are to split the number into the multiples aside so here what we do is the underlying part is the one which contains s the multiples of 7. So 7 factorial, 8 factorial, till 100 factorial, all are multiples of 7. So we eliminate the whole part under multiplication. So which means we are left with 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial plus 6 factorial. And once we divide this number, we would know what would be the reminder. Now it's I think it's fairly simple. So this is can be expressed as 720 plus 120 plus 24 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1. So 720 plus 120 is 840 which is 120 into 7. So plus 
the remaining part sums up to 33. So this can be divided into 124 into 7, which means and plus 5, which gives the which is the reminder. Hence, the answer is 5. And that's the solution. And for practice, what will be the reminder if the summation from 1 factorial to 50 factorial is been divided by 8? Try this problem with all your friends. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video and please spread this video to anybody and everybody as you can reach out. Thanks once again. Hope it's been useful.